Hey y'all, Guy Level here. I decided I was tired of sitting down at my desk to record my videos, so here's a different kind of uh, <laughs> setup. So, I've been talking about redoing my cat ears for a while now, and uh, as you all know, uh, the cat ears are, are something that I had zip tied to my headset to make them react to bits and subs. Not because I just wanted them to react to bits and subs, but mostly because some uh, coding issues. I'm not gonna be redoing the code, at least not for now. What I'm gonna be doing is the whole design. I wanted to make something that is cleaner, that is more uh, uh, polished than what I had before because boy oh boy, my previous design was clunky. It was super clunky. It would move whenever I tilt my head and stuff like that. <laughs> Now what I'm gonna do is design the whole thing from scratch and try to make it completely polished and hopefully, maybe in the future, um, it will be uh, replicable. But we're not there yet, we're not there. I haven't even started working on the new design, so this is what we're gonna do. So of course, the first part of designing anything is to draw some sketches. So this is what the uh, cat ears are gonna look like. I went for a drip-ish design on the actual cat ears, that way, I won't have parts of the cat ears uh, poking my head. I'm also thinking of getting more LEDs. As you can see here, I have three LEDs. And at the bottom, what you see is where I'm actually going to um, screw it to the motor so it won't move. Right now, it's only fixed with hot glue. And every time I try to scratch my head or something like that, I would bump into it and, and pull it off, which was quite annoying so we won't have that problem anymore as you can see on here i'm actually gonna try to have some sort of protective dome ish looking thing to protect the servo and just give it a more polished look so you don't have exposed wires and you don't have just like the motor in the back um i i, I guess this will make it look a little more professional like a finished product Then after that, I sanded down the covers lightly. It was actually not taking the sanding really well, so I stopped. And uh, then I put some masking tape on our LEDs. That's the thing I should have done before. I should have painted the cat ears before adding the LEDs. But unfortunately, um, I'm a dum-dum, so I added the LEDs first and then I had to mask them with uh, masking tape. But it turns out pretty well. Um, then I'm gonna have to take off the mask tape to expose the LEDs. I'm, I'm, blah. I want to have a white outline this time so that uh, everything that is surrounding the LEDs is actually black so that you can really, really see through my camera uh, when the LEDs are on and when they're off. We had that problem with the old cat ears where everything around it was white so you couldn't see it. Uh, the next step is going to be adding Velcro. Now, as you can see, the servo motors are mounted using double-sided tape instead of actually screwing them down. I went for that option because I wanted to um, maybe dampen the the vibrations. As I told you, those are cheap servo motors and they keep, uh, they're always like vibrating and they're making a, a bit of noise that is being transferred through the headset. So I'm thinking if I use double-sided tape, it will dampen the, the, the vibrations. But on top of that, I'm gonna use Velcro to actually attach it to the 
headset. So hopefully that will make them more detachable. So yeah, that's the cat ear projects. I'll see you when everything is done. <sighs> okay guys, uh, the day is number two or number three. I'm not even sure anymore, but I've been working on this project for so long now. <sighs> There's so much more to do. I wanna be like, okay, oh, the only thing left is soldering and wiring, but it's, it's not the case. There's much, much, much more to do than just soldering and wiring. I have to, well, technically, I have to apply the Velcro I have to um, do the, the finish on the, uh, the actual cat ears because as I said, I wanted to have that white outline and the way I'm gonna achieve that is by sending down the darker outline. So hopefully that is something that's gonna work. Uh, something else I'm gonna do is of course the soldering between the two ears, then add Velcro and then wiring the whole thing so that it goes into the Arduino. The last cat ears I had, uh, the cable was a little short so I was kind of restricted in my movement, so I'm gonna make sure that I have uh, a long cable this time, <laughs> long wires. I managed to shorten down the wires to five wires instead of eight, which was in the previous uh, cat ear concept, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I didn't show you all the connection I did, but basically I wired, there are three, <laughs> there are three wires for the motors. There's uh, ground, there's power, and then there's uh, data, basically. So I commoned the, I fused <laughs> the wires for power and ground, okay? So it's gonna come out with our red pin right here. So we are going to plug that into five volts. Okay, oops, so that's power. Uh, we also have our common ground, that is the black wire. So we're gonna plug it into uh, ground. Oh, I hear some things moving. Okay, so now we have a ground. And now for the LEDs, we have the blue wire, which is, so one part is on the common ground, already plugged in, and then we have the power that's going to be Blue wire, the blue wire is the power, but that's like, for LEDs you only need the ground and a pin to transfer uh, power into it. So we're just gonna choose one like uh, 13 for example. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's normal if it's not, there's no power going through uh, this right now. So what else? Then we have our motors. Uh, so motors, I think I, I wrote down somewhere. So left, left motor is going to be purple, but we didn't have purple, so it's gonna be green. So left motor is gonna be... Yeah, let's go for a pin eight and nine. I actually should look at the code. I'm gonna switch those, because the code already has pins on them, and I'm just gonna upload them accordingly. Uh, let me just open up my Twitch chat and type in a command just to test it. So channel, I'm in chat. So I'm gonna type the command LED just to test the LEDs. And they're not working. Uh... Okay, hello. Am I really on pin 13? I'm not on pin 13, I'm on ground. Oh! This is, uh, I hope I didn't, uh, I hope I didn't break anything. Yes! Yes! Ah, uh, hello? Okay. So that works, okay? Now let's try the motors. I think I have a command to make them move in like, uh, for like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. I don't remember. The good, the good news is that it's working, it's working. So uh, the next steps for now is to add Velcros to the bottom of those, uh, hot glue the cables down so they're hard to like rip apart hot glue the covers for, for the motors and stuff. Um, and then add the Velcro to the uh, headset and then we're done. And then we're pretty much done. But so far this is, this is working. It's working right now. That's great. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs>
probably gonna do some retouching with some more actually like uh, some more paint to make it look better but that's it that's it I'm so 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 tired so frustrated all of my fingers hurt I'm gonna get myself some ice cream. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know if you like that type of videos. There's always a bunch of stuff that I'm working on and I'm always like, ah, oh, maybe they're not gonna be interested in it. I don't have much to say. If you wanna see the cat ears and motion and action, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash level. If you're looking for overlays, you can download them from gumroad.com, but you already, all, you already know all that, okay? I have ice cream wait, waiting for me. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out. <laughs>